This is a movie about using the wiki tool in Sky. Uh, what we have here is a site that is stripped down pretty much just to the wiki tool. Um, you can turn that on by going on your site by going to site info and then uh, edit tools and then clicking the wiki button hitting save. So we've got wiki set up here. Um, basically what you see when you first look at it is, is something just like this. Um, a couple of key buttons up here. Now uh, is the edit button is number one. If you click edit opens up and you can see all the code that's behind it. Um, so the, the point of a wiki is that it's a site that anyone can edit. So anyone in your class could come in and add or change something on this site. Um, and this kind of nice because it's pretty stripped down. It's not HTML. It's, it's a lot easier to understand the code. Um, and beyond that, you can go back and look at old versions of what you've done in the history, change things around, etc. But the main reason that people use it is just because it's easy for anyone to edit. Okay, so another couple key buttons, we use the edit one. Uh, if you go back to view, you'll see the, the main page again. And also, if you ever get lost, and sometimes that's easy to do in a wiki that's unstructured, you can go back to the home page. So, but the most interesting part of the wiki is right here in the edit part, so we'll go into that. Um, first thing I want to show you is you can kind of switch back and forth between editing and preview. When you do something, you can go to the preview, see how it looks without saving it yet, and then go back to edit. Um, another thing I want to show you, if you look at how this is structured here, you can notice this is Welcome to Wiki Tool, and it's pretty big. And then there's What is a Wiki, and we have some, some sections down here, as well as a list. Um, when you click Edit, you can see how that's done. So H1 here stands for Heading 1, H3 for Heading 3, and um, H1 is the, the largest size, and then it goes down the line. So for instance, if I were to copy these words here, Welcome to the Wiki Tool, so I missed the L in the end, but that's not a big deal. And we paste it in a few times, and then highlight it and go up here to headings. We can change this one to a heading two, this one to a heading three, and this last one here to a heading four. And if you preview it, you can see that it gets smaller and smaller and smaller as we go down. Um, so that gives you a size, uh, an understanding of the relative size of the different ones. This is an H1, H2, H3, and H4. So let me delete those extra ones there. So a couple other things you can do. Um, you can go up here. If you highlight a word, so it says a wiki is a tool, I'm going to highlight the word wiki and make that bold. And you can see that it puts the code in there. You could also do that yourself. Just put those two underscores on either side. And when you look at it, you notice that wiki became bold. You can do that again for, say, if we had a tool, you wanted to make that italic. It gets two uh, little curly cues. And then down here you can see how it became italicized, um, and so on. You can make superscript, subscript. With this you can save uh, what you've done. You can also use the save button at the bottom. Let's say we save this. Now that's the way it looks for everyone, and anyone else can come in and change as well. So in the edit tool, now on the side here, the, um, it shows you a couple of important things here too. If you wanted to create a new page in the wiki, all you have to do is write something like my new page, or I'll show you something else in a minute. You put these two brackets around it and that gives you a link to a new wiki page and then you can get at that page and go from there. Um, at the bottom if you have a list of something you want to make you use these bullets. So, um, so this is an asterisk space and then whatever words you want. And you can see how that's done over here where they made a bulleted list and if you click preview you can see that how it shows up as a bulleted list. Now if we come back to edit this click on edit um, I'm going to take everything on here, I'm going to hit control A and then delete to delete everything, and then I'm going to paste in uh, some of the own content that I set up. So I wrote, welcome to the course wiki, which I would like to make a heading, so I can uh, si highlight this and make it an H1, and then have a little description. Um, each group has its own wiki page that will present the, uh, its project. Feel free to update the project as time goes on. And so what I'm doing here is I'm going to create a number of group pages as well. So if we look at this in preview mode, we can see that um, the top came out pretty well, uh, this top paragraph, but then where I did the group pages, it didn't really pay attention to the formatting that I had. Um, one other thing to mention is that I put a link in here, and that, that link became live. Um, and just the way you would see in Wikipedia or something has a little out arrow to show that it's you're linking something outside of the wiki. Um, but all I had to do was type in the URL for this, and it showed up as a live link that I could click. 
So if I go back to edit, you can see how, where that came from there. But also the group pages, as I said, were, wasn't formatted quite right. So I'm going to come here and add some asterisk for each one. And also I'm going to follow what it says on the side here and make this a new page link by just putting brackets around each of these. All right, and when I do that and hit preview, you will see that it comes up and links all of those things up. So I'm going to save that. And now my, my wiki, when I come in, will say, welcome to the course wiki. And for each of the group pages, it'll have something there linking to the group pages. Now you'll notice this link also has a question mark at the end of it. And that's just the wiki's way of saying that this page doesn't really exist yet. Um, no one's done anything. It's just a default page. So if I click to see group one, you can see it's just a new page. And it gives a little description to how to, how to add text to it. Okay, so I'm just going to come up to the top here and click edit and delete the content that's already in there. I'm going to make uh, highlight the first word and make that a heading, heading one. And for the rest of these, I'm going to make them uh, heading twos. So highlight project overview, make that a heading two. And remember, you can also just do this um, by typing it in by hand if that's easier for you. And let's look at how this looks. Pretty good so far. We want to make those into a list that you can see. So we'll add the asterisks. And there we go. This is a good template for um, starting a Group 1's project page. So they could write their project overview right here, um, fill this in with all the group members, do the project goals and the project description. And we'll save that. Now, uh, if, we, if we wanted to get back home, though, there's no link to home. So if you wanted to link to home, go back to edit, go to the bottom of the page maybe, write the word home inside of the brackets. And when you do that, um, you get a link back to the home page. Now remember, you can also use this link at all times to get back to the home page. So when we come back here again, group one does not have a question mark because now they have a page. And group two, three, four haven't been created, so they still have question marks. But if we go to group one, you can see everything ready for people, filling out for people. Now, having a template like this um, that you're using for different groups is a good idea because people typically won't know what to do when they first get to a wiki. But when you have it set up like that, it's a nice setup. Now for some advanced things, you can go down to the edit menu and on the side here we see the wiki tips that we used for um, linking and also for making bulleted lists. Um, we can go and see more hints on wiki formatting on the side here and so have a whole bunch of things that you can do. You can do highlighted and colorful text. Um, it tells you to do sort of more advanced things. Um, but we won't need to do that. We'll go back to the home page. And another thing is if you get sick of the, the wiki tips on the side, you can just hide the hints with one little click there and see them again. If you ever get lost in a wiki page, the recently visited link is pretty nice and it shows you different, which page you've been to. So to go back to group one, you can find that there, etc. A couple of other advanced features are where it says watch here at the top. You can watch this page in case anybody changes it and you'll know. You can use the search function to search through all the different pages in the wiki. You can use history to compare versions of what you've seen and see what's changed in each one. And you can revert back to an older one. Um, and you can do other helpful things as well. And that's the wiki tool in a nutshell.